Uh, right now, though, pretty cloudy for everyone. You can see that near the coast. We're also seeing that down the valley, even though this isn't picking up on that. So seeing low clouds uh, down to the King City area. And then we have 50s for now, but things are going to get cooler the next few days. Uh, look at this, 27 up at Lake Tahoe. Now, we've seen a few days like that uh, in the last month or so as we transition into fall. But this weekend, they're really going to get a blast of some cool air. Uh, so for today, 69 degrees Lake Tahoe, 89 Bakersfield. But check out tomorrow's temperature. That drops about 20 degrees. Degrees, uh, for some areas like Lake Tahoe. The afternoon high expected to be 48 degrees. They also have a freeze watch in place for parts of the mountains and then also some wind warnings uh, for the mountains in Southern California. We've been mentioning the chance of seeing some higher winds locally. We could have a wind advisory put in place this weekend uh, with this system coming through. You can see those lines uh, indicating that difference of pressure uh, and that's going to bring the chance of those higher winds Sunday, uh, beginning Saturday actually. Saturday, Sunday, perhaps in Monday with that colder air as well. Then a little break before another system comes our way. Now this one looks a little better uh, for our chances of rain. However, the center of it up towards our north and actually weakening as it does travel towards the east. We're going to be on the far south end of that. Doesn't quite look like we'll be getting a lot of rainfall from that, but there is a chance for the middle of next week. I don't think we'll see much out of the system tomorrow. 63 degrees, you can see that icon indicating that smoke uh, in the Salinas area. We use this icon for uh, fog as well, but we know that that fog is cleared out of here. Instead, it's smoke. So I did want to show that air quality. Uh, the red, that's showing unhealthy conditions for all. That's around the Prunedale area and also into uh, eastern parts of Watsonville. Uh, Salinas as well, uh, seeing some moderate conditions. And then the orange is unhealthy for sensitive groups, so meaning anyone with respiratory issues, uh, older or younger folks as well, and then down into Soledad. So you can see that trapped in the valleys. So just keep that in mind for any outdoor strenuous activities. Uh, if you have any uh, sports plans for your children who may have uh, asthma, just make sure you have that inhaler or maybe uh, give them a break for today because of that. So keep an eye on the smoke for yourselves for today. Temperature is much cooler though. You can see 16 degrees cooler right now in Watsonville. Uh, Salinas sitting in the 60s instead of 80s right now. Uh, lots of 60s, but 70s down the valley. 75 uh, and sunny with the exception of that smoke for areas like Soledad to King City. A sea breeze starting to pick up and then we will be seeing those winds uh, really starting to crank up this weekend with the those systems coming our way. Temperatures for today, Lake Tahoe for now, 66 degrees. By the afternoon, 69, so still really nice. We've been keeping an eye on that because it's been beautiful the last couple of weeks. Uh, but as we go into tomorrow, that's that 48 you remembered, Paul, uh, for the forecast high. Uh, but the low temperature dipping well below freezing. So in fact, they have a freeze watch uh, for many parts of the Sierra Nevada because of that widespread freezing conditions. We're not going to see that here. Overnights are going to start to get chilly, though. We are going to be seeing that for uh, the next couple of mornings and then you can see that fall like weather. No, these leaves aren't falling from the sky, uh, but that is indicating that it's going to be a bit windy out there both days this weekend. Uh, we know our trees are losing their leaves and then you'll see those blowing around a little bit. So nice and fall like this weekend. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool though, near the coast, some mid 60s, and then we are going to be seeing some uh, 70s to 80s today, this is the last of the warmth. Then we'll start to see those temperatures cooling down uh, a bit going into the weekend.